In this video, I'll show you the best way to add your WordPress site logo in SeedProd. There's multiple ways to do it, and I just want to make sure that you're using the correct way or the best method for you. This may help you avoid problems down the road when you're setting up your website. If you need to get SeedProd, head over to SeedProd.com or click the link in the description below. I'll be using the pro version for this video. Go ahead and click on the orange button to get SeedProd and select the account that makes the most sense for you. Once you have an account, let's click on login. On the left hand side, you can enter your email address, your password, and click on login. Let's go ahead and click on the second tab from the left called downloads. Click on the download SeedProd Pro button. And you also need the license key here in the bottom left, so copy that to clipboard. You can go ahead and close the tab. And inside of your WordPress admin area, on the left hand side, let's go to plugins and add new. At the top, let's go to upload plugin. And let's choose the file that you just downloaded. Let's go ahead and install now. Let's click on activate plugin. And you can paste your license key right here and verify key. You should see a green success message in the top right corner. Let's open our front page here in a new tab. And we can see that we're working with the default WordPress theme. Let's go ahead and insert a template kit that comes with Seedprod. On the left hand side, let's go to theme builder. And here we can see our theme templates. We don't have anything installed right now. Let's go to theme template kits and you can select any of these, whatever you wish. I'm just going to be using the starter theme today and I'll import this. You can see all of the theme template files that are imported. Let's go ahead and enable the seed prod theme. Let's click OK and OK. And if we refresh, we can see that new website was imported. Great. So here we can see that we already have a header and we have a logo here. Let's go ahead and look for that header file. At the bottom, I see header. Let's go ahead and edit design. So here we can see our logo and where the menu would be. Right now, there's no menu set up. You can just use a simple one for now, add a few items. And there you go. We can save that, refresh, and you can see that that's updated. Let's focus on the logo though. So I'll come back and if we select the block settings for this, you can see that it's actually using the image block, which might not be the best option for your setup. The reason is for the image block, you have to edit each individual image block if you ever change your logo. So for example, if you use this site logo down inside of your footer and on your homepage somewhere in your page, on your blog pages, and you decided to change your logo, you would have to update every single one of those. So instead, what we could do is switch this from a image to using the site logo block. So I'll look for site logo under template tags here. It says site logo. Let's drag this right here and let's click on the block settings for this block. Now here it'll say edit site identity. Let's go ahead and open this in the new window. And this will actually bring you to the WordPress theme customizer. And right here it says logo. Let's select this logo. And you can choose the logo in your media library if you already have one, or you can upload a file here. I'm gonna go ahead and upload. Great, so I have two different logos here. Let's start with the default one. And I'll select this. I'll skip the cropping. And there we go, let's go ahead and publish this. And we can close this window. Let's go ahead and save our seed prod page here and we'll refresh. And we can see the logo is imported into the site logo block. Great, let's go to the block settings here and we can see the image size. Let's change this to a percentage and maybe we'll go with 15, just so we can see it a little bit better. Great, let's go ahead and save this. We can refresh our page and we can see that block is here. Now let's go ahead and add that site logo to our footer now as well. So I'll come back and we'll exit out of here and we'll come over to the footer template and edit design. Here I'll do the exact same thing. We'll do site logo and I'll drop that in here and let's just change the percentage here, maybe 10% or 15. And let's go ahead and save that and we can exit out of here. Let's refresh. And now we should see it in our footer as well as in our header. Now, if we were using the image block, we'd have to change both of those separately. And that could be quite a hassle if you have that happening in 10, 20, 30, 40 different places. But now that we have it set up on our site logo, we can just modify it in one place. So again, we can just open up our header and select this one block and edit site identity. So now when we come in here, we can change our logo. Go ahead and do that and we'll select this one. Let's select it. I'll skip the cropping and let's publish this. And that's it. Now, if we refresh our page, we can see the new logo here and we can see the new logo in the footer. And this should save you quite a bit of time by setting it up with the site logo block instead of using the image block. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedprod.com and check out our documentation page. If you require extra technical help, please feel free to contact our support team 
Hey everybody, this is Chris from SeedProd. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites and landing pages by using our drag and drop page builder.